Pure insanity. What's up guys? Welcome back to another day, another vlog on the Everyday Chef. I'm here at Mama and Papa Chef's house. We came over to take family pictures, which you probably saw in some sort of intro. It was quite a disaster. It wasn't that bad. We sort of got it done. Sort of. But we're here to take some family pictures for Christmas and also to celebrate the twins' birthday because my parents have not been able to see them yet. And uh, so we're gonna do presents. But I want to take you guys for a special tour. It's not as good as Pepper Tree Villa's house, but my mom does have about, I don't know, six, seven, eight maybe trees. So let's go on a little tour and check out some of her trees. So here we have the main tree in the family room. So this is actually a real tree. Uh, shh, don't tell my mom I just did that. She saw me. <laughs> it is, in fact, a real tree. This is the tree that has, like, I don't know, some of the kid decorations that we do. Oh, look at this. Look at this. That's me as a little kid, little boy. But this tree is kind of the tree that has a lot of, you know, miscellaneous stuff. Here, here are my kids. There. There's my kids again. But here we have... I made this sleigh in 1991, apparently. So, of course, it's in the back of the tree because she doesn't want people to actually see it. So, that's kind of what she does. She, hi she hides the stuff that she doesn't want people to actually see, but she can at least say it's on here. So, this is the main tree. And uh, like I said, it's got kind of a mixture of just kind of ornaments that she's collected through the years, uh, but also some stuff that, uh, you know, that, that we're in. So here is another tree. This is a little tiny itty bitty tree, but she actually went through and decorated it. I mean, these are like little tiny ornaments and bows and look at this little, little tiny stocking. It's so cute. So here's another one, kind of smaller, more basic. So this is actually not a tree, but it is the manger scene. So it's kind of a neat, she, she does go not all out, but she does do a pretty good job. So this is a little manger scene, which is pretty cool. Here is tree number three, I think. Yes, tree number three. Uh, this one has got uh, little tiny miniature uh, balls, ornament balls, whatever you call them, and little bells. Got some little bells. So this is another tree. This one is in fact a fake tree. But, you know, she took the time to decorate it, put the lights on, do you know, it's, it's a lot of work decorating that little thing. This tree right here, this is out in the foyer. It's probably a little bit of an echo because it's kind of big open spaces. Um, but this is her pride and joy. These little Santas right here, they're called like Starlight Santas, I believe, or something like that. They're from Valancourt Folk Art. It's a local shop that do these like whatever porcelainish type material. But it's a very famous store. You can actually uh, go to the website, valancourtfolkart.com, Valen Valencourt I don't know, Google it. But you can kind of see this whole entire tree has, it's pretty much all Valancourt. So this is like her, this is like her signature show off tree. And also kind of she puts it off to the side so the kids can't knock it over and, you know, destroy the very probably expensive ornaments on this tree. But anyway, this is in fact her favorite tree. So you can see, you know, they're, they're pretty cute. You've got, you've got all different kinds of Santas. You got, you know, they're, they're all pretty cool. They're all individually. These are all like hand painted, all hand painted. They're, they're really unique, unique New York. 
a little display of a couple of them. So she's probably got um, probably 50 uh, anyway on this little tree. So these here are more Valancourt folk art pieces that uh, are not ornaments. They're just standing-ish looking ones. This one is cool. That one's cool. And yet again, here is another tree. And this one has little fake candy canes and more little bulbs and whatever. There's like little holly, I guess. Is that, I think it's, I think that's what you call it. Holly, maybe. And then a little itty bitty tiny star. Look at that little star. It's cute. And so I believe this is the last tree. This is up in their bedroom. You know, they got a big window looking out. So at nighttime, you can see the tree. Obviously, that would make sense. Um, but another tree where she puts just more standard bulbs with little eggs. Look at that. It's like little bird eggs. So guys, this is not another tree. This was my old bedroom uh, for many years. From my, my parents moved in here in 2000. So from like 2000 to 2006 is uh, about... I, this this was my room. Clearly, it is now my dad's office. So my dad took my room over, and it is no longer my room. But my bed was right here, up against this wall right here. That's where my bed was. I think I had like a, a little desk over there, or dresser, or I don't even know. But this this was it. This was my room, and it's no longer my room. Now, let me just take you for a quick walk over here in comparison to... This is my sister's room. Bed's still here. All her furniture still here. So it just kind of goes to show who the favorite is in the family. She still has her bed in her room. And my room is now an office. All right, I'm back in my room. That's just a long-standing joke that we have, me and my sister. I always say that she's the favorite because, well, she is. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of my mom's trees. Again, it's not quite like PTV, Arnie and Doug over there, but uh, she does a great job. She does a good job, and uh, some of them are, are some pretty, pretty legit trees with some pretty legit ornaments. So, guys, I hope you liked it, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. If you're new here, please subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoy the video, ring the bell or whatever to be notified. Those things, do those things, do those things because um, it doesn't cost you anything. It's free. It's free and uh, it helps support the channel. So guys, have a good night or morning or whenever this ends up getting edited and put out. But we'll see you again tomorrow.